Hello everybody, this is Nandu Ram and we are from Sonu Academy. Today we are going to discuss about Environmental Studies Class 5 CBSE Syllabus. Today's our topic is Components of Food. Children, you all of you know that all of us want to live a healthy life. So, we know that health is wealth. A healthy mind will wealth only in a healthy body. Children, most of our food is made up of these things. Yes, there we get food from plants and animals. Depending on what grows easily at which place, different things are eaten at different places. We not only eat different things, but we also use the same things to prepare a variety of food items. In this lesson, we are going to discuss about the useful food components which gives us health and wealth. Let us see what are there. Yes, sometimes we may not really have all these varieties in our meals. If we are traveling, we may eat whatever is available on the way. It may not be possible for some of us to eat such a variety of items most of the time. Let us talk about those things that we do eat. Put on the things that you eat often a rice, meat, barley, oats, mice, milk, chapati, ragi, etc. Most of our food is made up of these things. Let us see what do different food items contain. Children, we know that each dish is usually made up of one or more integrates which we get from plants and animals. These integrates contain some compounds that are needed by our body. These compounds are called nutrients. The major nutrients in our food are named as carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins and minerals. In addition, the food contains dietary fibers and water which are also needed by our body. Let us see what is the real purpose of eating food. Is it only tasty or any reason behind it? The food helps us to, to get energy, to grow and to be healthy. If we get these three types of substances, we have to get the useful substance in the food that provide all these three are called nutrients. Let us see what are carbohydrates. Carbohydrates and fats give us energy to work and play. Examples rice, meat, Sweet potato, pulses, sugar, bananas have a plenty of carbohydrates. Proteins. Proteins help us to grow and to build and repair to work out in our body cells. Protein help us in healing small wounds and cuts also. So, they are called as body buildings. Examples. Milk, egg, meat, pulses. Bean, fish, paneer, these are the food items which are rich in proteins. Fats, fats are found in oil. It is also help us to give energy to our body. Fats store food in our body. Examples, ground nuts, coconut oil, vegetable oil, olive oil, nuts etc. These are the food items which are rich in fats. Excess of fat contains obesity also. Children, who will protect your body from enemies? Do you know a type of nutrient food that protect our body from enemies? Let us see what is the type of nutrients. Yes, these are vitamins and minerals. Vitamins and minerals, they help us to protect our body from enemies. Let us see first about vitamins. Vitamins help in protecting our body against the diseases. They also keep our eyes, bones, teeth and gums healthy. Our body needs, needs a vitamins like A, vitamin, vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin C and vitamin D. Vitamin A keeps our skin and eyes healthy. Vitamin C helps our body to fight against many diseases. Vitamin C help our body to use calcium for bones and teeth. Minerals. Minerals are required in small amount of in our body. They are essential because for our proper growth and to maintain a good health. Each one is essential beside these nutrients. Our body needs 
dietary fibers and water also dietary fibers are also known as roughage this roughage is mainly provided by the plants produced in our food whole grains and pulses potatoes fresh fruits and vegetables are the main sources of roughage roughage does not provide any nutrient to our body but it is an essential component of our food because it adds to it bulk it helps our body to get rid and undigested food the plant food contains a lot of fiber or roughage that helps to get rid of waste from the body water helps our body to absorb nutrients from the food it also helps in throwing out some water wastes from the body such as urine and sweat normally we get most of the water that our body needs from the liquids we drink such as water milk and tea the food we normally eat in a day is our diet for the growth and maintenance of a good health our diet should have all the nutrients that our body needs in a right quantities not too much of one and not too much little of other the diet should also contain a good amount of roughage and water such a diet is called a balanced diet yes children pulses groundnut soya beans sprout seeds south indian food such as idlis combination of roti thela bananas spinach these are the available vegetables and other such fruits provides many nutrients therefore one can eat a balanced diet without expensive food material eating the right kind of food is not enough it should be all cooked properly so that its nutrients are not lost children you know aware that some nutrients get lost in the process of cooking and preparation is yes. sometimes it may result in the loss of vitamins also the skin of many vegetables and fruits contain vitamins and minerals similarly repeating washing of rice and pulses more may remove some vitamins and minerals present in them we all know that cooking improves the taste of food and makes it easier to digest at the same time cooking also results in the loss of certain nutrients many useful proteins and considerable amounts of minerals are lost or if excess of water is used during cooking and it is then thrown away for example vitamin c gets easily destroyed by heating during cooking children would it not able sensible to include some fruits and raw vegetables in your diet so children we need a little of all kinds of food every day to get all these nutrients and roughage etc this type of diet we can called as balanced diet children a balanced diet should contain 50% of carbohydrates 35% of fats 12% of proteins 3% of vitamins and minerals and sufficient amount of water thank you this is nanduram and we are from sonu academy